another Magnus Answers and uh, this person wants to remain anonymous and uh, she wrote uh, a letter and she wanted an, an answer from me and Sarah okay this could be a long video so you know because she covered a lot a of points letter. here but uh, let me read it for y'all so y'all you know I'm gonna read it as fast as I can point. shut your mouth <laughs> I'm gonna read it all right as fast as I can let and maybe we it. will take it point to point I read faster she doesn't she reads silently faster <laughs> Okay, that's what she reads faster. Happy that loud. Okay. Um, yeah, and if we have to stop at certain points, we will. Anyway, so. Says, hello, Tyrone and Sarah. I hope you are both well. Smiley face. Um, I am writing you for some advice. So please don't put my name in the video. Basically, I'm attracted to this guy that I work with. But he is not my usual type at all. I usually go for very attractive, square-jawed gym buffs, but this guy is almost the total opposite. She goes for the guys who are like, bro. She likes those bro, things. Bro. <laughs> Making them Bro. Games. Bro. <laughs> anyway, despite the fact that he is not classically good-looking, no, sorry, I jumped the gun, y'all. Uh, See, I told you, she let me <laughs> What I like about him <laughs> is that he is tall, a really nice guy, humble, down to earth, and intelligent. I also really like that he is also in no way metrosexual at all, which is a huge relief. Many guys these days seem to have run out of testosterone juice. Traditional <laughs> masculinity seems to have disappeared. That shit is true. A lot of guys do their eyebrows and all that body waxing and all that shit. Me personally, now see, now look, my eyebrows are arched, but they grow like he this. Is naturally I get accused of this shit all the time. <laughs> I do not arch or pluck my eyebrows. I don't trim them, shave them, nothing. All right? So I'm pretty genetically, motherfuckers. But <laughs> I'm not, I don't think I'm metrosexual. Like, I don't, you know, I don't need to tan. Um, not that that is exactly metrosexual. I think the eyebrow thing is a little much for me. That tends to be the metrosexual side. For me, as far as I'm concerned. But this ain't about metrosexuality. Alright? Now, she said, Anyway, despite the fact that he is not classically good looking, I still find myself really drawn to him. The thing is, I don't know uh, if, th if this is because I've been single for a long time and there aren't many options where I am. Also, I'm worried that if I start anything up with him on the basis of him being a nice guy, I might one day realize I'm just not physically attracted to him. I'm not sure what his body is like, but I'm used to the gym bodies and I'm scared that I might be turned off completely and wouldn't want uh, to do that to him. On the other hand, I did end up cheating on a hot boyfriend before when I was younger because he was so selfish and into himself and we just wanted a trophy. I know that's no justification. Ultimately, it was my choice. I don't want to cheat again. Also, I'm worried that if my environment changes and I have the opportunity to meet hot guys again, <laughs> I might feel like I settled. On the other hand, I know hot guys are more prone to cheating, whereas this guy may feel like he wouldn't need to. I don't mean to sound conceited. I'm just saying that, but I hope you understand what I mean. What should I do, guys? Go for it with this guy or wait it out with someone else. It's worth pointing out that I'm now in my early 30s, so I don't want to waste my time or anyone else's at this point. Thanks in, in advance, my lovelies. All right. <clears throat> so, Sarah. Actually, let me get the letter. I was going to so say, why'd you throw it? Because you know I'm not going to Jump back on anything. certain points. Um, I guess we'll both maybe kind of take turns answering this. I personally um, think that from what you've told me, there's a possibility that you could be getting desperate and that you're seeing this guy as kind of like, oh, well, hey, he's got this and that, huh? hey, hey, why not? You know what I mean? And in a way, you would be dropping your standards if you've been single for such a long time and then now you're starting to get desperate. All right, what do you think about that? 
It could be that your tastes are changing slightly. Uh, sometimes when you're younger, you value aesthetics a little more. Um, and now as you're getting a little older, you're more interested. What you said you liked about him was more like his personality and the way he presents himself. Um, he seems like a kind of a rugged guy. Um, so maybe your tastes are changing a little bit or it could be partially because you're desperate, not like really like desperate, desperate, but like you can't. People can't get desperate. Just say it like it is. <laughs> See, you said it could be, you said it, I'm in my mean, early thirties and I yeah. don't want to waste nobody's yeah. time or mine. So yeah, but that doesn't mean she's you know. desperate. That means that she's not about that bullshit right now. She, yeah, so she the wants, clock is ticking. She wants to meet a guy mm -hmm. and have a relationship, but she doesn't want to waste time. Well, I'm not um, saying you a desperate, ugly. You know, you know uh, what do they call them? Yeah, Old desperate maid? as in, well, that. you had said that there weren't no. a lot of options where you right. were. So maybe you're getting desperate as in yeah. looking for that perfect yeah. person, waiting for that one to come along. Yeah, as you think about it, like that, I remember, you know, being in high school and there were always like a couple hot girls. And then I would go to like a bigger high school and play, God damn, look at all these guys in here. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, you know, and I get it. I get it. So you might, you might need to just look at other options, whether it's internet dating. I think internet dating is completely safe, personally, because there's absolute nuts right at the bar around the corner that you can meet. Just watch his cat. Or at your video. church or all that make stuff. Sure, make sure you're live chatting everywhere. or Skyping. Before internet, <laughs> people were still getting killed and raped and all that shit by crazy nuts that they met right in their own town. So you just have to be a better judge of character. You can date on the internet and find a plethora or, or of branch, men. Or branch out, you know... You know <sighs> go places where you like to go and specifically not like you kind of put yourself out there like be willing to meet guys be willing to say hello you know yeah. it, like for Sarah. me i like books so i would go to a bookstore uh, and <laughs> i would go to a bookstore and i might see a guy pick up a book that i've read or that i want to read and talk about it um she with him reads. you know uh. <laughs> She's a nerd. <laughs> anyway. No, but you know what? She's got a good point. When you have certain interests, try to go somewhere where people meet up that have your same interests. You if you eat organic there. food, go to the organic grocery section. You mm -hmm. see a hot guy there, start talking about eating organic. Right. You know, if you like to rock climb, go talk to the rock climbing instructor. You know, I mean, there's, there's other ways to meet people. I don't know where you live. Maybe it's a really small town, but... You could try branching out. You might have to do a long distance relationship. Yeah. Oh, and then I'm looking at how you're worried about, um, like, apparently his face ain't that bad since you are attracted to him. You like the way he carries himself, stuff like that. But what I'm saying is, you're afraid that when the clothes come off, you that you're going to be body. turned off. All right? I, I'm giving you a prime example of this. I'll give you one too. When okay. <laughs> I, um, I got a friend that lost a ton of weight. All right? And she has a really pretty face. Very pretty. I'm not going to name her, but. Because of that, I remember thinking to myself when she lost all the weight and she kind of told me, yeah, but I got loose skin here and this and that. And <laughs> I was just like, damn, I wonder if dudes that have sex with her before her skin, you know, re, you know, sizes itself to her body. Like, I wonder if they see her face and they're like, oh, man, she's bad as hell. And they get her home like, oh, shit. You know what I mean? So if you're prone to that and you really like muscular bodies, I... I don't think you should. Let me you tell you something that happened that to you me. Should try it. I don't think you should go out with this guy or approach him. I don't. But I'm gonna talk about some other points. Let's Let me see tell what you what happened to say. me. When I was like a freshman in college, I met this guy. He had a handsome face, but he was overweight. And I've always dated more athletic builds or slim, tall builds. Um, never dated someone that was overweight. And at the time when I met him, nothing really sparked too much. I knew he was interested, but, you know, I ended up dating someone else. So three, three or four years later, we reconnected, and I had gone through a couple relationships that didn't really work, and his personality was so nice, and we really uh, meshed as far as personality-wise. Come the cliffhanger. 
he was <laughs> he was a really nice guy. We got along. He was smart. He had a good sense of humor. That's what people always do before they drop the bomb on. We got together. You're so nice. We got together for about <laughs> we were boyfriend and girlfriend for about two months. Um, the sex was not good. And he was overweight. I was not attracted to his body. But because I liked his personality so much, I tried to make myself um, be attracted to him. And what ended up happening was he told me he loved me, and I had to tell him that I didn't love him. She tried to swallow that horse pill, but she <laughs> couldn't. You see what I'm saying? And, um, <laughs> you know, he ended up breaking it off with me, and... After the breakup, we talked about it, and I said, you know, it seemed like you fell for me faster than I did, and you were worried about getting hurt. Probably you were was. scared about getting hurt, was. and he said, yeah, you're right. You probably was. So, you did the right thing. You know, I can't blame him for breaking it off with yeah. me, and I don't know 100% for sure whether I would have felt the same way about him mm -hmm. later on if I would have been able to overcome that. Yeah. So, if you're, if you're not attracted to this guy at all... He's got a nice face, but you're really not attracted to his body. In my experience, it's not going to work. Yeah. I would never date a girl that I thought had a pretty face or I was just kind of attracted to maybe her demeanor and her body was not my type. There's absolutely no... Why the hell did you push my leg away? you're making my leg You got a problem with my leg? You're making me hot. It's my energy <laughs> per permeating through your cheap jeans. Now. <laughs> They're not cheap jeans. <laughs> All right, so... But as far as the cheating part goes, um, that's on you. You, you. you know you don't want to cheat again, so you don't cheat again. That's just your own willpower. All right, so that's not even an issue, and I think you understand that. And as far you as hot cheat, guys being prone to, to cheat, cheat, yeah, I guess maybe. But, I mean, Tyrone doesn't cheat. He's a hot guy. There's hot guys out there. That's and real my, cute. <clears throat> that's my funny. Head, my throat was... Um, Okay, so you're also worried about if the environment changes. I'm just kidding. And uh, you have more opportunity, right? So if the environment changes, you have more opportunity. I'm telling you right now, don't go out with this guy, period. I'm telling you right now, unless you see massive potential in him, do not. Do not. I'm telling you right now. That's pretty much the only, all I got The only to thing say. that I could say is if you feel like your tastes are changing... Then maybe give it a shot. Yeah, but if is, your tastes aren't changing, point. if your tastes aren't right. changing, and you're just saying, "Well, I don't really have a lot of options, and yeah. I really like his personality, so let me just try it," then I would say no. But if you're starting to be more attracted to a more rugged type, and the personality coming forth is your primary focus of attraction, then maybe. Yeah, because trust me, I've been out with guys. This is what happens. A lot of times we'll go somewhere to like say a party, a house party, gathering type of thing. And the guys will be posted up or sitting around a certain area. And we will literally do this. If we get there and there is no girl that we are really attracted to, we will try to find the one that if we had to do that's the one we may spark a conversation that's with. terrible literally i can remember talking to a guy and be like <laughs> that one right there she ain't bad it's like yeah man slim pig is in here that's like the best john in here it's like yeah <laughs> and it's funny then the guys will kind of and y'all know this at a party the guys will kind of start to congregate near the prettiest one you know what i mean now this could be a totally bad john at certain parties but you all know what i'm talking about and the guys know what i'm talking about you're just like well <sighs> There goes nothing. I, I, yeah, I guess I could hit that. Hey, how you doing? My name's Tyrone. What's your name? Sarah. Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, so, um, yeah, don't do it if that's how you feel. I want this man to light your fire, whoever it is that you want to be interested in. If he don't light your fire and you're just interested, I've been attracted to girls that I would never want to be my girlfriend. It's just something about them that attracts you. I know what you're talking about. Don't do it. Unless you want to romp in the bed and, and, and he knows it and you know it. That's it. Okay? And then if you like it, then you can move from there. Yeah, yeah. You know what? If you want to start off bed buddies. <laughs> okay, if you want to start off bed buddies 
and it turns out to be something good, hell. You know if that spark for. is there. I mean, yeah. Yeah. You know I mean? When it comes down to, to it, you have to be attracted to the person that you're with. Really attracted, though. You know, like, you she's attracted to, to him, she said, but she's not. Like, it's not her normal you type. You know if that spark is there. I don't know if yeah. it's the same for guys, but girls know when you feel that spark. It may be butterflies in the stomach. It may not. But you, you know butterflies. whether you want to have sex with that guy or not. And if you absolutely don't want to have sex with that guy, then the answer is no. If you can't picture yourself in bed with him, regardless of whether you've seen his body or not, then the answer is no. <laughs> That's an interesting point because it's funny. I've tried to picture myself in bed with certain girls and I couldn't do it. I was like, um, this girls that I've worked with, they see, see, they did come the nut part out right now. Who? But but it's, it's crazy because you'll what be like, girls do you guys, work guys with? do this. Like we'll look at you, and sometimes a pretty but awkwardly shaped girl will be like, like we'll actually do this, the head motion, like. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know if I could do that, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, big thing that I hate? Uh, um, like, a lot of men like big breasts, right? But I've had women that have approached me that have been interested in me that had big breasts, right? But no ass. And I have an issue with that. I really have a big issue with no ass whatsoever. And I've actually looked at certain girls and I'm just like, I go to bend that over. That, that shit ain't gonna fucking look good at all. <laughs> I do not want to see that. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, uh, yeah, I'm attracted to her, but nah. So, uh, this video's going long enough, and I hope I answered did all the questions. Do not, I think I did. Do not, don't go after this dude. Unless you, you want to make a little sexual escapade of it, and he knows it, and you know it. And if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But don't go after him like, hey, you're a great guy. I'd love to make you my boyfriend. Because especially if you are a trophy, I'd love to see a picture of you, by the way. Just curious. But if you are a trophy, and he's not used to having a girl like you, woo! I mean, he could lock on you. He might jump out a fucking window if oh, you break yeah. it off with him, okay? <laughs> yeah, so don't go messing with nobody's feelings. You said you don't want to waste nobody's time, okay. If you want to make it sexual, you ain't wasting no time because you're making it sexual. I'll tell you what, but, a different guy yeah. I dated, he's talking about people locking on to you. We didn't even have sex. Three minutes here, all right. I dated Three him for... Left. A month maybe oh, yeah. just kind of off and on we went to we went to a, a laser concert and we went to dinner and that was like it I was just like and I could tell he was getting in too deep and I broke it off with him and I'm talking about like years later he was still yes. contacting me why wouldn't you give me a chance why won't you be with me I don't understand yeah. like Years you later, walking know. up in the club with the great one, she he would contact her. He did it twice, like three years apart. <laughs> and, I, and she told me she seen him in the parking lot. He was like, "Wow, Sarah, how you doing?" And one time he saw her again, and he just had to pour his heart out. Why wouldn't you give me a chance? Why, 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 why? And I why? felt bad that and, I you know, that I engaged this guy, you know, in these feelings, and I didn't feel that way about him. And I, I swear to God, I broke it off with him as early as I as I could before I knew like yeah. before I knew that I really wasn't that attracted to him I broke it off you know yeah. like you yeah. have to be careful yeah. because he's a nice guy and he probably yeah. thinks all women are bitches yeah. now you see hers was opposite because of what she was physically attracted to him but his personality didn't mesh with hers yours That's was opposite exactly what happened you're, you're he, was, kind he was a nice guy but he was just kind of boring his personality but you're not attracted to his body so you gotta watch you gotta have that shit. spark on yeah. both yeah. that's it so, all right, yeah, well, about nine, uh, 18 minutes, almost 19. Maybe Tyrone will yeah, do a so. video on law of attraction and attracting a mate. Yeah. So that you can find somebody yeah. who's really yeah, working. It's a very for you. good <laughs> um, series to get on that. It's called Your Wish is Your Command by Kevin Trudeau. It's a CD set. Check it out. Yes. So, um, but yeah. All right, y'all. Hope it helped. Talk to you later. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get going right about now. Just turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> <laughs>